Well, hello, I'm Wayne Hudson. And I'm Jeremy Tillman. Here we are with another coaching tip for the Christ life. You know, Jeremy, we spent the last several weeks talking about just a few things the Lord has taught us through all the change over the past uh, 10 to 12 months uh, in what we're having to mm -hmm. deal with, with, uh, with the coronavirus and other issues in our, in our culture and just having constant change. I mean, you make a decision on Monday that you're gonna do something next weekend and it may change before yeah. the weekend. You just you just never know. It had to be mm -hmm. really, really flexible, which is not a bad thing. But yeah. we, we've talked about trusting the sovereignty of God. We talked about leaning in close to Jesus. And we talked about being intentional about connecting with other yeah. believers. And I think that for me, the, the last thing that, that I'll share is that Man, the Lord has reminded me over and over again that regardless of my circumstances and regardless of the change, that he is worthy of our mm, praise. Yeah. That I need to praise him regardless of what we're going through and what's happening in my life and all the changes. Yes, for me, things have changed drastically, yeah. but he is worthy of our praise because he's still God. He is still a good, good mm. father. He still is in control and I need to praise him. What do you think about that, Coach Taylor? Yeah, I got to just keep coming back to who he is. He yeah. is worthy to be praised yes, because of who he is. Yes, he is. And, uh, and man, I, I, there's, there's something that, that sticks out to me, and actually it, it's on my shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. know, I keep coming back to who I am in Christ Jesus right. and being confident of my position right. in Christ Jesus. And it's easy for us to, to get in uh, in these moods where, where we feel sorry for ourselves, yeah. where we get to whining and complaining. Uh, but at the end of the day, I have to go back to the fact of who I was before I met Jesus. That's right. I have to go back to what Ephesians chapter 2 says, that there was a time in my life that I was dead, I was disobedient, and I was doomed. That's right. But God stepped in. And out of his great mercy, out of his great love, he sent Jesus to take my place. Right. And what Jesus went through on my worst day does not compare to what Jesus went through right. so that we could experience That's true right. life. So I have to keep coming back to that mm -hmm. quite often yeah. and be reminded that it done, on my worst day, yeah. God deserves our praise. That's right. Man, I've heard my wife say over and over again that if God would choose... So choose never to do anything for us again, and he won't. Hadn't he done enough That's already? Right. Yeah. Man, this man is mm. thinking about what he went through so that we could yeah. be delivered from our sin debt, a debt that we could never pay on our own. Yeah. He paid for us. And then over and over again, he's extended to us grace and mercy. He has really been good to yeah. us, and he is worthy of all praise because of who he is. I'm reminded of Psalm 150 that says, Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty expanse. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Our God is worthy of praise. And in the middle of change, regardless of how drastic it is or how sudden it is, God is worthy of our praise regardless. So let's go praise the Lord. Go let Jesus be Jesus in you and praise God today for who he is. Have a blessed day.